Let's say your job today is to stake out points for piles and footings. You have an IFC model from a designer, but it's not well fit for your purpose. It's big and heavy and there's too many objects in it. And it's in the local coordinates. So what to do? My name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome. In this simple PIM tutorial, you learn the basic workflow how to prepare your IFC models to better fit for site and land surveying jobs. There are three steps in the workflow. Import do some stuff and export or save the prepared model back to IFC. 1. You get the model from a designer, probably via a project bank or cloud service. Open SimplePIM, click import IFC from the startup canvas, browse to the model, click open and the model is imported. You rotate the model with the left mouse button, pan with the middle button, zoom with the mouse wheel. Note that there's always some tips here in the left lower corner, how to do it if you forget. 2. There are several things you can do to the model in SimpleBIM. At minimum, you want to select the building elements you need for your job and transform the model to the project coordinates. We call the selection process trimming. You could also call it filtering. In any case, the simplest way to do it is to drag and drop object classes from the object palette to the included bucket. Let's say the footings. Everything that is in the included packet will be exported back to IFC and then later of course loaded to your field application. Everything that is not will not be exported. Simple as that. You can also select objects from the 3D, either one by one or in this case start the area selection from the 3D's ribbon tab or by pressing A from the keyboard. Press left mouse button, drag over the piles and release. This highlights the piles. You can now start to drag and drop either by keeping the left mouse button pressed half a second before moving or with the right mouse button. Drag the pointer to the included bucket and release. Now you have the building elements you need. Note that you can move the included bucket to the center by double clicking anywhere inside the viewport. Like this. This works for any viewport. Moving the included to the center makes it easier for you to select points in the next step. There are several ways to transform the model. The most convenient way is probably the Helmer transformation. To do it, you need two known points from the model and their corresponding reference points from the project coordinate system. Start the Helmer from the tools menu. A dialog opens. Enter or pick, in this case, points from the model for example, like this. Then enter or copy values for the reference points. Note you can copy X, Y and Z in one go, for example, from a spreadsheet like this. Very convenient. Check that everything is OK. Make sure that the move objects with their containers is checked. Click OK and you're done. There are many other things you can do to the model in SimpleBIM. You could manage the layers and the model tree, standardize colors and data, merge models, split geometry, create measurement objects, and so on. But all these are topics for other tutorials. For now, simply export your selection back to IFC. Start the export from the ribbon. Give the file a new name. Not that you are creating a new IFC model here, so you probably don't want to overwrite the original one. Click save. OK, here I'm in triple access. I load the prepared model to it. As you can see, the model contains only the objects you selected in SimpleBIM and basically what you need for your job. So the model is easy to use and manage. Check the known point. Yes, it is in the project coordinates. You are ready to roll. This was an introduction to basic workflow, how to prepare IFC models for stakeouts with SimpleBIM. This should already get you well started, but please check the other tutorials to learn more. Thank you for watching. See you next time.